Hi, I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we'll be reviewing HP's two-socket Z640 workstation. This is the mid-range model between HP's top-of-the-line Z840 and the Z440, a single processor entry-level system. The Z640 offers more customization and greater processing power than its predecessor, the Z620, and handles simulation, virtualization, and graphic design applications with ease. The system is ISV certified and ideal for designers, engineers, and 3D professionals that need a powerful system with loads of memory, CPU cores, and storage. The exterior of the case has a smooth black brushed aluminum case with a locking side panel that not only protects the internal hard drives, but also drives that may be mounted in the media bays. There's also an integrated handle on the front of the system and a pull-out handle on the back. An intrusion sensor and a remote controlled lock are optional equipment. Like all HP Z workstations, the Z640 features a cableless and toolless chassis design for easy upgrades and replacement of components. Inside the case, a plastic baffle directs fresh air over critical components. Bright green touch points indicate removable parts, and pretty much everything is easy to remove. The system can be used as a standalone tower or rack mounted with an optional rail kit. The C612 chipset supports a range of Intel's powerful Xeon processors, including the E5 2600 and E5 1600 V4 and V3 processors. The Xeon E5 2600 V4 and V3 processors offer integrated PCIe 3.0 controllers with data transfer speeds of 16 gigabits per second, read and write functions. Using top-of-the-line dual E5 2699 V4 processors, the system supports 44 cores of processing power. The modular design delivers powerful performance with just one processor, but can be easily upgraded to support two processors using an optional CPU riser board. If you've made it this far, you're either asleep or interested in this product. We have an extensive inventory of Z-Series workstations, including the Z840, the Z640, the Z440, and the Z1 workstation. If you're considering buying one of these workstations, give us a call and mention this video to get $150 off the purchase of a Z workstation valued at $1,500 or more. All are available for immediate shipment. Click any of these links to view pricing on systems or give us a call. And now, back to the review. Stacked directly on top of the motherboard, the CPU riser plugs into PCIe slot number one and has its own heatsink and dedicated memory. The CPU riser supports four additional memory slots for a total of eight DIMM slots in a two processor configuration. Only DDR4 registered and load reduced DIMMs are supported, offering memory speeds of up to 2400 MHz using a compatible V4 processor. V3 processors are only rated to 2133 MHz. The processor will determine the maximum memory speed regardless of the specified speed of the modules. NUMA or non-uniform memory allocation allows memory modules of different capacities to be used in a prescribed order. The internal tool-free translucent storage trays support either two 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SAS or SATA hard drives with optional tray adapters. The external media bays can be converted to support two additional drives. Users can install either two 3.5 inch HDDs using both media bays or install two 2.5 inch HDD SSDs using an optional two-in-one media bay adapter using only one of the media bays. Several hard drive controllers, all with six gigabit per second speeds, support both SATA and SAS drives. A factory integrated SATA HD controller offers RAID of 0, 1, 10. And you can add another terabyte of storage using the optional PCIe HBZ Turbo Drive SSDs. There are six PCI slots total, but as we already mentioned, the CPU riser board for the second processor installs in PCI slot 1, leaving only five PCIe slots with two processors. PCIe 3.0, 2.0, and a legacy PCI card slot support several controller cards, NICs, or GPUs from AMD and NVIDIA, including two K5200 cards or one K6000 featuring 12 gigabyte graphics. Depending on your choice of GPUs, up to eight monitors can be attached. For high performance computing, optional NVIDIA K20 and K40 coprocessors can be used in conjunction with a single graphics card. Two optional PCIe HPZ turbo drives can also be installed and offer up to one terabyte of storage for fast boot up. M.2 PCIe drives will take up one or two of your PCIe 3.0 by four slots, but will more than make up for that PCI deficit with read-write speeds, both sequential and random, that are significantly faster than a standard SATA SSD. As a matter of note, the HPZ turbo drives connect directly to the motherboard through the PCIe slot, essentially bypassing the onboard HD controllers. If you need super fast backup, editing, and file sharing, an optional Thunderbolt 2 PCIe I.O. card with one port can help you get the job done with data transfer speeds nearly four times greater than USB 3.0. The system will also support FireWire using the legacy PCIe slot. The system supports four USB 3.0 on the front and back of the system, along with two USB 2.0 ports to connect a bunch of external devices. An integrated Realtek audio card is standard equipment. The front of the system features an integrated slimline optical drive that leaves the media bays free to support a 15-in-1 media card reader or additional hard drives. HP's well-thought-out design makes it easy to replace most of the components, including the power supply, which means switched out in under a minute. This is a great system. 
You can start off with just one processor and quickly scale to two processors as workloads and performance needs change. HP also helps users get the most out of their workstation using the HP Performance Advisor, which comes pre-installed on every HP workstation and helps optimize the workstation to deliver the best performance. There's also an Energy Star rated version. To sum it all up, the Z640 adds new meaning to versatility and flexibility while expanding capabilities through powerful performance, whisper-quiet computing, and toolless access and an elegant design. Like this video if you found it informative, and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when we release a new video. If you have any comments or questions on the Z640 or any other workstations, just post them in the comments section below. I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching.